Methods of permanently joining a metal mask to a face. There exists an extremist religious order whose tenets espouse the rejection of vanity and self-interest, to achieve nothing less than the complete erasure of the sense of self, instead devoting oneself solely to the needs of others. This order's members adorn themselves with clothing that obscure even the slightest glimpse of flesh, and a mask, an identifying symbol of their devotion, which many believe is permanently sealed to their face. The initial idea was inspired by Edward Norton's portrayal of King Baldwin IV in Kingdom of Heaven. Mixed with a little Darth Vader, so I want to say this mask is some kind of metal for now. What could be done, however painful, to permanently apply a mask like that? Assume the level of technology is mid-19th century. Side note, not really sure what tags to put this under, so I'm adding a few that I think might be relevant. I'll add or edit them, if I can, if people have any ideas. Hashtag it s not actually affixed to their face, people just think it is. Simply put, anything that would break the skin on a long-term basis causes a large risk of infection. At the technology level you've presented, this would result in unavoidable death, especially since we're talking about something affixed to your head. This is why, in real life, companies that are researching cybernetic implants are designing their implants to work without breaking the skin once implanted. Additionally, by wearing something non-stop against the skin, you're trapping dead skin, bacteria, sweat, and similar things against the skin and increasing the risk of infection further. This is why soldiers have to regularly change their socks to avoid trench foot, for instance. So, rather than actually affixing their mask to their heads, just have them always wear their mask when they're publicly visible. They could remove their mask in private to bathe or eat, but whenever people see them, they're always wearing their masks, and that gives rise to a rumor that they can't remove their masks among more credulous individuals. <laughs>